the Philippine government enforced one of the world's longest and strictest lockdowns. Numerous lives are lost as a result of this pandemic, and individuals are being affected. On November 20, 2021, a new COVID-19 variant known as the Omicron was discovered in South Africa. A deadly virus had occurred almost three years ago, affecting the entire world. It alters the way we live, work, and learn, or it creates a new normal. As the number of COVID-19 cases rises, government officials enacted measures such as wearing masks and face shields, social distancing, and hand washing to prevent the virus from spreading. We're also locked inside our homes so only you and your family can see each other. It's been years since we are quarantined. The supposedly one to two weeks became years. Due to the pandemic, students are learning at home through modular, online, or blended learning to continue their education despite our current situation. Students who learn from home may feel isolated, have limited access to technology, or lack of discipline to keep focused on their studies. As the virus continues to spread rapidly, many individuals have been unemployed, causing them to fall into poverty. We Filipinos, on the other hand, are resilient. We are capable of adapting to any situation. We may have been parted by the pandemic, but due to advanced technologies like social media, we are now virtually interconnected. Not only that, but we are connected with our hearts, which is the most significant quality. In the midst of a pandemic, Finding a ray of hope is the best thing for us to do. Our resilience can shine through the pandemic, demonstrating to other people how to make the best of even the most difficult times. This pandemic is difficult for everyone, but it also benefits us in many ways, such as by allowing us to spend more time with our families and strengthen our bonds as a result of the lockdowns and quarantines. We use social media sites and platforms to stay connected with others. But we also use it to promote more positivity and help others who are suffering from mental illness due to COVID-19 by just sharing and posting an encouraging message. We Filipinos learn how to unite or magkaisa by doing community pantries, giving real goods or ayuda, and volunteering to help others. In this situation, we are working together to accomplish the same goal, which is to stop COVID-19 from spreading. We are resilient because the pandemic did not stop us from working, learning, and living our lives as a normal people. We chose to do something instead of just sitting around and waiting for things to improve and change. For many of us were in a panic, it showed us the way of humanity amidst this pandemic.